today I'm going to share my May empties. And this is going up a little bit later because I have been out of town for the last couple of weeks. I guess like two week and a half or so, almost two weeks. Um, we got married in um, North Georgia at one of our favorite vineyards, and then we went on our honeymoon to Maui. So I just got back um, this past week. That's why this is going up um, later in June than closer to the beginning of June. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing is a body wash by Neutrogena. It's the Pink Grapefruit Body Clear Body Wash. And I like this a lot. I ended up repurchasing this, but I got the... Um, either the Publix brand or the Up and Up brand. I think it might have been the Target brand actually, so the Up and Up brand. And I think I like this one better, like the the name brand as opposed to the generic brand, just because I think the grapefruit smell is more um, like a grapefruit in the Neutrogena one than in the um, Up and Up brand. So I would, I'm going to use that one up, but then I'd probably spend the extra dollar or two and get the, the Neutrogena one. And then we used up a Lubriderm um, normal to dry dry skin daily moisture lotion. It's I've bought bought several of these and um, they work great as a lotion. So I like that. And then just like in my last empties, let's see. I think there's just two. I mentioned that I was trying to use up all of our travel size toothpaste, so I used up an Aqua Fresh and a Crest 3D White. I didn't really like the Aqua Fresh too much, but I do like the Crest. One, um, I used up the Alba Botanic Hawaiian Oil-Free Moisturizer. I got this back, you know, late summer of last year, and this was in my um, project. I guess I guess it's a project tin pan or something for 2016. There's ten products that I want to use up for um, the year of 2016, and this is the first one that I've used up so far, and it's completely empty. I really like this moisturizer. I got it at Publix, my local grocery store, for like $15, and it worked really well And you know, the hotter months of August and September here in Georgia, and then it worked great in the winter keeping my skin moisturized, and even, um, I guess I finished this maybe like two or three weeks ago, so it you know, worked well with my skin in the springtime as well. So I think it's a good all year round moisturizer and it lasted from August until probably the beginning of May. So I would repurchase this. I do like this a lot, but I do have a couple of other moisturizers I'm trying to use up right now. So, But I do like that and I also like that it's um, a more natural brand. I just used this last night. It's the Sephora Green Tea Face Mask. Um, it's a mattifying and anti-blemish. It just looks like a sheet mask and um, I put it on for 15 minutes last night and then once I took it off I kind of just massaged in the rest of the product and I didn't put on any moisturizer or any other skincare after that and I don't know I can't really tell a difference I feel like because uh, I was using a lot of sunscreen in Hawaii I have a lot of whiteheads um, on my nose because my skin doesn't react very well with sunscreen so I've been trying to scrub and get rid of those whiteheads from the sunscreen and I thought that this would help but I still have the whiteheads so I don't know maybe we'll give it a couple of more days and see if it has lasting longer term effects but um, it was a nice face mask um, so there's that I used a, a deluxe sample of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, um, and this can be for um, body or face. Um, Abby used this a lot as well, and she used it as a moisturizer on her face. I've had several of these samples. I've had a full size of this. I like it a lot. I like the First Aid Beauty brand. Um, I, th I haven't tried anything from there that... I don't like or you know I've regretted purchasing um, so I do like this I used up a sample of the body shop tea tree facial wash I actually have used a full size of this several years ago um, when my skin was really bad I don't think it really helped with my acne issues um, so I don't know but it's it's a good um, face wash I don't know if I'd like purchase this again because I have used a full size in the past, but it's a nice cleanser. Um, another cleanser that is leaking everywhere is the Basha Purifying Cleansing Gel. 
this little packet like breaks so there was probably more than one use out of this but I could it was so messy that I just used it once and just called it done so I don't really know oh my There was like a giant crow that just ran into the window. Oh my God, that was so crazy. Anyway, <laughs> so that's fine. It's a nice cleanser, but I wouldn't pay the price for it because Bosch is kind of expensive. This is in my um, Use 4 by 4th of July. It's the Brio Geo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizer. And it's a volumizing blow dry spray. I actually use this on my damp hair. I didn't use it today, even though my hair is damp. Um, and then let my hair air dry with it and I thought it gave me some nice volume and it didn't um, dry frizzy. So I did like this. I know you can get it at Sephora. I think I got this in a birch box as a sample. Um, and I, I've tried actually several samples from this line and everything I've liked, I mean everything that I've tried I've liked but not to the point where am I going to spend the Sephora price tag for it if you know what I mean. So, I don't really know, but it is a, a more natural brand. So, if you um, go, you know, that route um, with your skin and body and hair care. I have two um, beauty blenders. One is the micro, um, is that what they're called? The micro blender. I had a four, I got a four pack of this during the VIB sale. And then I have the original beauty blender, which um, came in the... It was a kit that I featured on my blog. I think it was like the Sephora favorites, like painted pink or something, and everything in there was pink or like rose gold. And this was in there, and it was an excellent value. I don't think it's for sale anymore on Sephora, but if it is, I would definitely recommend you getting it because it was like $40, and it's a full-size beauty blender, so that's like half the price. And there was like two full-size lip products too. But I'll link that blog post down below if you're interested in seeing what was in that kit. I really like this. Um... This is the first time I've ever used a beauty blender, like the, the you know, name brand. I've used The Real Techniques, I've used a CVS brand, I have the Ulta brand, which is okay, it's not the best, but honestly, I still, I like the Real Techniques one, and I would consider purchasing the beauty blender one, the, this one, again, because um, it is really good, I really do like it, but I don't see it any better than the Real Techniques one, so... And for a $20 price tag for something that, I don't know, it just, I mean, I've, I've cleaned it several times, but by this time I was just like, there's just no way I can clean this anymore, it's just kind of gross. So, I'm just calling that one quits, and I love these micro beauty blenders, like I would definitely repurchase these, and I'm, I'm going through that four pack again, or I'm still going through that four pack, so I love these, and I think they're definitely worth the price tag. Um, let's see. I have a brow product. It's the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I like this a lot, actually. I think it was um, 5 or $6. I think I got mine at Target. But it has a tiny little bristle, and it's tinted with... Um, this is blonde. So this is the blonde jade, and I, I'm sure they have, like, brunette and dark brown or whatever. So um, I did like that, and but I don't think I would repurchase it right now. I'm using the NYX... Um, it's like, it's like the Anastasia um, Clear Brow Gel, but it's the NYX version, and I like that a lot. And I'm using, actually, the um, Anastasia Dip Brow, which I said in, like, a video a long time ago that I was thinking of decluttering it because I never used it, and I actually started using it again for my wedding and um, trying it out again, and I love the way that it's working, and I feel like I've gotten it, I'm using it the way that it's supposed to. Anyway, so I love that mixed with the um, the uh, NYX Clear Brow Gel. I think my brows are looking pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, I have an empty packet of the Burt's Bees Cucumber and Sage Facial Cleansing Towelettes. These are for normal to dry skin, and I don't have dry skin. I have probably more oily combination skin. But I like these because I find that facial wipes like this or towelettes or whatever you want to call them, they can be more drying to my skin. Um, and I don't use these every day. I usually, you know, wash my face in the morning um, and then I double cleanse at night with like an oil and a regular cleanser. But every now and then I'm lazy or um, I need, you know, to fix a mistake when I um, do my makeup or, 
you know, in the morning, I didn't, you know, sometimes I use these in the morning as opposed to a cleanser. So anyway, I do like these. I've purchased multiple packets, packages of these. These are $5.99 at any drugstore, uh, grocery store, Target. Right now I'm using the Alba, um, the same brand as this moisturizer, the Alba Botanica. And I like those a lot as well. Um, and they're, I think they're a little bit cheaper than this one. And they have, I think they might have a Mm, actually, they might have the same amount of towelettes, but anyway, those are just as good. So, um, but I do like these, and I would recommend these. Last three things are samples. One is the Needles No More 3D Filler Mask. Who is this by? Dr. Brandt. This is a second sample that I've had of this, and I love this stuff, but it's pretty pricey at Sephora. And what you do is you. Um, moist, it's almost like a moisturizer, but it's a, it's a cream that you um, use from like your cheeks and your chin area. And it's supposed to help with fine lines. What I find that it helps me with is my acne scarring on my cheeks. And I can see a, I can see a difference when I use this um, in the appearance of my acne scars. So I really do like this. Um, but I'm just, at this point in my life, cannot pay the price tag for this. So there's that. And then I have um, a day and a night cream from Ahava, and it's the Beauty Before Age Uplift Night Cream and Uplift Day Cream, and the day cream has SPF 20. Now, um, if I can remember correctly, yeah, they're pretty fragrance, but it's a natural kind of fragrance, if that makes sense. It's not like perfumey. Um, and I did like them. I've used Ahava products before, um, like full size products, and there was a moisturizer that they no longer sell that I've like hunt I've hunted up and down the internet for that moisturizer, and I just don't think they make it anymore. But that was like my holy grail moisturizer. I love that thing. Um, and these are good, but they're no honestly, it's no better than the Alba, which is probably you know, comparable pricing to probably a little bit less expensive than buying two separate creams that I think are more mid-range. I think they're probably in the $30 range at Ulta. Uh, but they are nice. They're nice. So anyway, those are my empties. I have like this clean, the Basha cleansing gel all over my hands. So I need to go wash them. And um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what products you've used up this month. Leave me a comment down below. And um, I hope you're doing well. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.